Game number two now of this best of three. It's the semi-finals of Go for SC2 April. Winner of this series, they get themselves double the prize money of the loser. They get 150 euros minimum. Whereas, unfortunately for one of these two, they'll go away with only 75. I can't really say only. They'll still make a lot more tonight than I will. So, I guess that's pretty good for them. Anyway, let's introduce these two players. Top left, we have got the orange Zerg player. Representing AT Gaming, Elza. And in the lower right, the Green Terran, representing Alien Invasion, Lila Kinnan. Lila Cannon, actually. I don't know why I say Lila Kinnan. My brain just gets confused with these things. No early gas, as of yet. So we're probably not going to be seeing the same build. Everything going fairly well at the moment for both players. They're both able to produce workers. This should just be an extractor trick. Is it not going to be an extractor trick? Ooh. Ooh, it's not. There was a gas first. A speedling play is incoming. This is going to be bold. This is going to be brave. This series may not last very long. And Elza, he seems to be sitting here and going, do you know what? I don't like people proxying a medevac to get Hellions in my base. That is not a thing that I like or I appreciate. So I'm going to throw the speedling all in at you. Or maybe a baneling bust. Or just some form of pain in the early game. Wow, what's this? I've never actually noticed this either. Look at this. This is the kind of attention to detail in maps I love. Right? Look at this little blanket over the supply cape. It's just trying to like hide them. And it shimmers in the wind. I don't know why this shimmers in the wind. But the Vespian gas plumes don't. That confuses me. Not that much attention to detail. Clearly. Anyway, Overlord coming through. He's going to see that there's a Reaper on the way, but look at this. There's Zerglings, there's Speed, there's still three drones in gas. That means Baneling Bust. And everyone loves a good Baneling Bust. I love a good Baneling Bust. You love a good Baneling Bust. I assume you do anyway. Who would not love little waddling green balls of goo trying to hug your face in an explosion? Well, anyway. I can't really think of, I can, I, I nearly made a really crude joke there about an explosion and in your face, but I decided against it. I'm feeling like I'm going to have a mature day today. Little Cannon, he's got his Reaper coming out. No, he hasn't yet. I take that back. He did have, here he does. Where is his Reaper? This Reaper's coming around a weird way, and that means he's not going to see it. He's going to get in the main base using this little clip, but straight away, Elsa's there like, yeah, you're not getting that. Down comes the Reaper. The Reaper's like, where's your, oh dear, you do not have a natural base. That means you're going to have Zerglings. Speed is nearly done. The Baneling Nest is nearly done. Does Lilla Cannon No, No, he doesn't know. Cancels the third. There's only two Reapers on the map to defend this. The Banelings. We've got additional barracks getting produced. Already these Lings. Just working away. Where are the two Reapers? They are still on the map. They're coming back frantically trying to prepare. More Lings on their way across. Banelings now morphing. Cancels one of those barracks. The Banelings can be seen. The Reapers coming back up. They're going to start trying to work away at some of these Banelings. But they're already there. Five Banelings needed. Come on, fifth Baneling. You are essential. Up they go. Wandering through the wall. Both supply depots full. Supply blocking. Lilla Cannon. There's Speedlings in your base. This is not what you want. This is so bad. Still, the damage coming through. A bunker tried to get made. A second bunker will finish up. But where are things to go in it? The Reaper can try and get over. But look at how low it is on health. If it gets sniped off, that'd be huge. Does manage to get in. But the bunker, it's not going to be enough. Down goes the Reaper. And we nearly dead. Things not looking good for our Terran player right now. Heavily supply blocked. No more Marines. GG is called. And Elza takes game number two. Winning this series and advancing into the finals. Guaranteeing himself a minimum of 150 euros. Lilla Cannon doesn't go away with nothing though. He gets himself 75 euros and a semi-final finish in the April finals.